Hello everyone, today we are going to go through separate the numbers, which is a problem on the string section of algorithm on occurring. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. So uh, here is the problem statement. A numeric string S is beautiful if it can be split into a sequence of two or more positive integers, A of A of one, A of two, and so on, satisfying the following condition. We have three conditions that should be satisfied. The first condition is um, it should be a sequence of one. That means the difference between two elements of the sequence should be one. And uh, the next condition is no element contain a leading zero. That means if we have zero, if you have this, this can be considered as a sequence of one, zero, two, zero, three, which is one, two, three. But in this case, it's not allowed to have a leading zero. So this is not okay. So this cannot be considered as a, as a sequence, as a beautiful so as a beautiful string and the, the third condition is the content of the sequence cannot be rearranged for example if you have such a string if you rearrange this string in such a way that you have one two three you have a sequence but we are not allowed to rearrange the string so you have to use the string as it has been given to you so that are the three conditions that are to be satisfied in order to call a string beautiful okay yeah so this is an example of a beautiful string we have this string one two three four we can see that this string can be split into a sequence of one two three four the first condition is okay um we see that the difference in between the element of the sequence is one the second condition is okay. There is no leading zero in those elements. And the third condition is also okay. The string hasn't been rearranged to have this result. I hope it's kind of clear for you how the sequence is built. So let us take the, uh, the second one. We can see that we have 9, 10, 11, which means that 9 is the first one, 10 and 11. This is a sequence increment by by one and the third one is also a sequence increment by one so globally what we are supposed to do here we are supposed to have a string as input and find out if the string can be split in sequence of substring satisfying those conditions so uh, how are we going to approach this i hope the example will clear for you so how are we going to approach this so um you are not going to use any fancy approach for this you are just going to use a brute force approach which we kind of evaluate the, all the possible solution until uh, we can no longer build a string respecting those conditions our approach will look like this what we are going to do is we are going to set the base the base length of the first string and now we are going to start at one and uh, from that one, we are going to grab the, 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 the substring corresponding to that length. That means, okay, we are starting uh, the base length as one. We are going to start the, we are going to grab the number of string corresponding to the size one. So that would be the first character. And from that, we are going to convert this string into int value. And uh, we are going to increment now this value by one, adding to the, to the string, increment by one, adding to add to the string, add to the string, until we have a string with a size greater or equal to this. Now, when we have that, we break the loop. And at the end, if, if the string that has been built, given the approach I just described, is equal to the entry string, it is beautiful, otherwise, we move to we increment the size of our base our base length 
So let us have this example for instance. You you, you have nine, and uh, let me write it here. Let me take the first one for instance. We have one, two, three, four. That is our string. Now our algorithm will do will work like this. He will take one, and uh, as the base character. After that, it will add to one the next value of of uh, the next value of one that means the value that is directly after one that is two and after you and so on you add three and you add four now the size is equal to the given swing so you will break the loop and after breaking the loop you will compare those values since they are equal it will return yes that is beautiful now let us take an example of how the last one will uh, how the scenario of the last one will look like. So uh, we have this string 99100. Zero, zero. So the first approach will be like it will take the first character of the string that is 9 and then it will add the next character that will be 10 and it will add the next character that will be 11. At this point, the size are equal and it will compare the two, uh, the two, the two strings and they will be different. Since they are different, you will increment the size of the base character. And uh, the size of the base character will now be 99. And uh, from here, you will add the next value of 99, that is 100. And uh, after adding this, the size is equal to this. What are we doing? We compare, they are equal, so we return yes. So that is how um, our algorithm will look like. So without wasting time, let us implement what we just described as, as approach. So like we said, we are going to have a base, a base length of one. And um, we are going to look why the base length times two is less than, is less or equal to the size of our um, our string i explain why it should be less or equal because if it if you have a base length which is already greater than half of your string then definitely you, you cannot move forward because um the second the second part of the string will never be satisfied will never be a a next element of the first of the first part of the string so that is why i'm putting this condition okay let us continue. So I have my base length here. And uh, now what I need to do here is to construct the new string. So um, I will have a string that will call new string. That will be um, the substring of size base length. So yeah, this, this new string will start with the value of the subsing of the first or the first element we we want to use, since this value need to be kept somewhere, and um, if it is a if it if it's a yes, I will also have to reuse this to print. I would rather create a string here that I will call base that will have this value directly because I will reuse it. And uh, here I will put the base. Now. Uh, I need to have, since I will perform incrementation while moving, I need to have the in value of, of the base string I just grabbed there. So I will have base int that would take, this is a built in function that helps to, to convert, um, to convert string to long. Okay. So you may ask yourself, why am I using long here instead of int? So it's actually base long even. Why am I using long here instead of string? I'm using long because um, the condition state that the string can be a size of 32. So if you have a string of size of 32, you can easily find yourself with uh, a sequence of two elements of 16, 16. And, um, if you have a subsequence of element of 16 that needs to be stored in an in value, it will definitely fail because in value cannot store uh, in, in value cannot store element of size 16. So that's why I'm using long because okay, I'm definitely sure that 
this will uh, this will meet uh, the condition now the next thing i'm gonna do is to construct my my um my new string i'm gonna go with do while you can go with while if you want but i prefer do while because i'm doing something while a given condition is respected so while end of size why a new word new string dot size is less than s of size so while the new string while the size of the new string is less than the size of the given string what we do is that we are going to say new string we take so i'm adding to new string the string value the string value of base long and uh, at the end i need to say, to say base long plus plus so i increment base long to the next value so what are we doing here is that we are adding base long to the string so i no, i need to have this as new because i'm adding even the first one so i will start by adding the base to the string and while moving i will create a new value that will be the next value of the base and adding to the string adding 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 like i just described as a push uh once i have here i need to now check because here i can perform a condition if n if a new string is equal to s then then it was beautiful so if this condition is okay i'll just say out yes and uh, i need the space and uh, the base yeah so that is okay right mm -hmm. at the end of my loop i just need to have something like this to to go to the line now you may ask yourself how how do we undo the condition we need to break here yeah. if you are okay if you find the string we need to break so no need to continue now, how do we handle the no? Where can we find, where, where can we put the C out of no? Where is the, where is the part of the code where uh, we should print the no? And for that, I will create a Boolean here that I will set as the Boolean that will keep a uh, find. I don't know if you say, I will say F equals to, to false. That means nothing has been found. So if you found something, we just say, fine, we take true. So at the end, if you find ourselves, if you find ourselves here at the end of the loop and uh, nothing has been found, that means if not found, if not found, if nothing has been found, then we can see how, no, just like this. So this is what, uh, this is how I approach the problem. I hope it is okay for you. Let us run and see what it gives. We have a time limit. What is happening? Okay, uh, there is a problem somewhere. This BL that we are using in this Y condition hasn't been incremented. So it should be incremented. This, it should be incremented here. It should be increment where is it it should be increment where is the loop this is the loop so it should be increment here to go to the next element so if you have a size of one and it's not okay you move to the next the, the next step uh with a size of two size of three start of, size of four and so on and so on so it's okay let us submit and see what it gives Okay, nice. So everything is green. This was my approach of solving this. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and uh, if you do enjoy it, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be really happy to have your comment. And uh, if there is something you want to share with me related to my approach or related to something you think that can be useful to everyone that is looking those this video on this channel, um, I'll be definitely be happy to have your point of view, to have your input. 
in the comment section so see you on the next video ciao